Blackie, you're a creature of habit. We have eaten in this restaurant every Tuesday for weeks. Do you know that? I've got another habit, Mary. I pay the check when we're through eating, like now. Let's go, huh? I'm ready. I'd better take you straight home if you want to be there before your cousin arrives. Oh, well, she'll wait for me, I hope. Say, there's a cab outside. Run out and see if it's vacant, will you? Mm, right. I'll pay the check and be right with you. I think we have that cab, Blackie. The flag on the meter's up. Good. Your check, sir? Oh. Here you are. Thank you. And here's your money. Oh, no, the meal is on the house, Mr. Peterkin. Thanks, but I'm not Mr. Peterkin. Ah, ha, ha, but I know better. We are proud to have your patronage, Mr. Peterkin. I'm not Mr. Peterkin. I'm Boston Blackie, and I'm giving you your money. And I'm returning it to you, Mr. Peterkin. Please, with the compliments of the house. Look, I tell you, I you am... You forced me to tear up the check. There. Now you can't pay a check that does not exist. <laughs> All right. But believe me, there's been some mistake. No, no mistake, I assure you. For you, there shall never be a check, Mr. Peterkin. <laughs> Now back to Dick Calmer's Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy, friend to those who have no friends. Oh, Blackie, you won't forget to get that watch for my cousin, will you? Don't worry, Mary. The jewelry store is open until 9 tonight. You'll have it this evening. The one we saw in the window? Mm hmm. I think she'll like it, don't you? Oh, uh, well, if you see one you think she'll like better, get it. You know more about watches than I do. Down 11th Dale Avenue, miss. Here we are. Hold the flag, driver. I'm going on. Right. Uh, don't bother to see me to the door, Blackie. I'll be all right. <laughs> you always are. I'll call you later. Now, you won't forget to get that watch, will you? Right, Mary. I promise. I'll have a messenger deliver it. Thanks, darling. Night. Night. 51 Sunset Parkway, driver, and step on it. You don't have to tell me where you live, Mr. Peterkin. What did you call me? Mr. Peterkin, Mr. Peterkin. Now, wait a minute. And if you think I... this all is going to cost you anything, you're wrong. Now, look here. It's for the pleasure I... to have you in my cab. So there's no charge. Not for the famous Mr. Peterkin. Sample complete. Ready to continue? <laughs> 